All right, you already know LDBC. So Zion Williamson is currently out with a hamstring injury. The Pelicans also have a 4-15 and record, and uh, it doesn't make it any better that Zion's only played 190 games in his last six seasons with the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, Shannon Sharp actually criticized Zion Williamson about this, and he blames the Zion instead of the team for his current situation because I believe there's no timetable in when Zion Williamson would be coming back to, to play again. So Shannon has this to say, quote, Zion has the problem like i told my kids i can't want something more than for yourself everybody wants zion to be in shape except zion everybody wants zion to be disciplined except zion and this is what shannon sharp said on his uh, nighttime sports talk show now look, let me say this right because i believe zion's contract is non-guaranteed uh gail benson down there i know she owns the saints as well got him on an nfl contract uh from the research i did it says after playing only 29 games in the 22 23 nba season williamson triggered a clause that rendered the final three years of his five-year 197 million extension non-guaranteed so this means for the 2025 2026 2027 2028 year the pelicans have no option have the option to waive zion without financial obligations so pretty much moving forward next season, it's over. You know, they can just let him go and teams can sign him for the minimum contract. And this is crazy because he was the number one overall pick. Was it 2019? And uh, everybody had uh, thought he was going to be the next face of the NBA. And this is what he what, what he made. This is what he's potentially going to lose. So next year, he'll be making 36 million. And 2025-2026 season, or 2025-2026 season, he'll be making 39 million. And 20, well, 2022 6 2027 he's gonna be making 42 million and between 27 28 44 million so he's gonna lose over 100 million dollars if they decide to waive him since his contract not guaranteed and i mean he's missed so many games 24 games and uh he only played 24 out of 72 games in 20 in 2020 and 21 uh played 61 games out of 72 games he didn't play at all in 2022 2023 he only played 29 out of 82 games and i believe so far play six out of 18 games this year so shannon says it's about his food and uh his discipline and i have to agree i have to agree on it look man this man's going to make he, he can make over 40 million dollars next year give or take plus he has endorsements remember he had his own he had a shoot with jordan brand and he was a mountain dew and all these different commercials right but zion clearly he don't, he don't want it right now he don't want it right now zion makes so much money that he can have a personal chef Hell, he can get that, um, what's that food plan called? Factor. Zion can spend $1,000 a month on his food plan, and he would be in better shape than what than what he's been. There's no excuse for it. And it's not like you're, you're a regular 9 to 5 who don't necessarily have to use your body or stay in physical shape. You're a professional athlete. That's the number one thing when your athletes are staying in great shape, staying ready, staying game ready. But I don't know. And then I know here in New Orleans, people trying to say, I think Boogie was saying something about they got some of the best food out there, and, and, and they should never put them down there. There's no excuse, man. This man can have round the clock chefs round the clock trainer the best of the, the cream of the crop to make sure that he eats well and that he stays in shape but i mean you know this is what happens when a lot of times the nba got some of these players got guaranteed contracts and they was making so much money up front that it's all good you know they they get lazy and don't be surprised if, if, if they wave him <laughs> i don't know if it'll be next year but it might be the year after and then and then what then he did lost over, uh, close to 100 million dollars and these same people who is uh giving zion grace saying oh man you know leave him alone and all of this they're gonna be the same ones saying that he dumb for losing all that money for eating when you can have a professional chef you know how many how many us nine and fivers would pay for a professional chef if we making 40 million dollars a year but also zion i know he was a late bloomer but because he went from nothing to the best player or now i'm gonna say nothing but as, as far as like no stars to one of the top players in his mind he probably felt like he, he ain't got to do it you know he don't have to train like everybody else he can just play games and get back into shape because he was never he wasn't even small at at duke but he was still more athletic than he was at duke than he is now or, or playing in more games and like it's just the fact that the fact that they have to weigh you every year so many times a year to make sure that you're fit man there's no excuse for that man i'm sorry it isn't and i know a lot of people are going 
are going to not agree with me on this, but there we we don't have no like why would I have empathy for somebody that makes forty million dollars a year plus endorsements that can't pay for a professional a, a professional chef even if you pay a quarter million dollars of a year that's chump change that would be like us paying uh 20 a month for all our food to be prepared and cooked and cooked and is this supposed to be something that you love man i thought this was something that you wanted to do nobody forced you to do this but and it's funny because these nba players man like, man they so soft a lot of these players are so soft you ain't got no problem signing a contract but you got a problem showing up to work he's basically a part-time employee you know how many of us would love the to, to, to be in that situation where we could work part-time and get guaranteed contracts you know but this is i mean this is what happens man so hey moving forward his contract ain't, guar ain't guaranteed and if they waive him it's on him it's on him you know maybe this is what he needs and i also read something about that he always wanted to be in new york well i mean this is what happens when you when you don't own your own company i get it you wanted to be there we all thought you was gonna get there but you didn't do that, so you got to make the best of what you got. And y'all are a playoff team. Y'all remember when he didn't want to play in that one playoff game, but maybe it was a couple years ago, but he was dunking in the, in the pregame, and he's like, Zion don't feel like Zion, and and uh, uh, I was clear to play, but I, I couldn't, but he but he just didn't feel like he could go along, he could do it. <laughs> That's, man, this dude, man, I don't know, man, it's sad. It's sad, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I, I'm riding with Shannon on this, and salute to 78, too. We're all seeing their videos on it as well. But yeah, let me know what y'all think.